Hi, this is Lachmi Kantiwari. Welcome back to a new video tutorial. So in this, I'm going to show you how you can implement a floating action menu. You may have seen in your uh, to-do list applications and Gmail or uh, inbox application where if you press a floating action button, then a menu bar opens, right? So if you press here, let's say I have developed in a demo application. If I press here, edit, record and the photo, these are the, you know, the menu. Uh, the action menu you can say are being opened here and if you press on the edit then edit uh, uh, function would be performed here if you press on the record it will start to record the audio and then if you press on the photo it may start to take the photo i mean it may execute your camera intent right so these are the three however you can add as many as you want but it's really very beautiful if you can implement this one so however i'll be also showing you you can um, adjust this floating uh, action menu button at uh, anywhere on this screen either you can um, adjust it here here or here here or in between i mean anywhere where wherever you want it so let's create a new application let's start with the start new android studio i'm gonna put this name name as uh, let's say what i can say a floating i have to first give it capital okay floating action menu right floating action menu and let's click on the next click on the next and then let's set the empty activity and then finish it okay while finishing it will ask the http proxy so i'm working at iit Kharagpur behind the proxy i have to give the proxy otherwise it would not be able to connect with the internet while it is building the griddle and opening the android studio so here we are going to use a use a library okay so first of all that we need to get that the library in using a chrome so you need to come here and search here floating action menu right floating action menu github okay if you search here you will get here this the first link right so this first link open this first link and then once you get this first link then you need to come here okay just come here come here okay just copy this one okay so copy this dependency we are going to add this dependency into build application level uh, build dot gradle okay so come here and open this one and enter here okay perfect so sync now it will sync automatically now let's come back to the activity main.xml we don't need this text if we also do not need here i think we do not need anything here okay so just uh, move that and let's create a relative layout okay once you create relative sorry so let's uh, create here a relative layout okay so it would ask about the relative layout perfect so here it is giving the red color i mean say do not have height and the width attribute so you need to you can click here okay so once you click here then you would say so what i want i want to the match parent and of course to the match parent then it will automatically add you know these things okay this was the another way how you can create it okay perfect so here you know it has uh, successfully build the gradle now we want to add a floating action menu see here what we need to do first suppose that you open the emulator so this button is floating action menu and inside this action menu there are three floating action button one two and the three so the first of all that we need to create a floating action menu and inside that action menu we need to put those three action button so let's first create action menu so let's type here a floating action right then you can see here the floating action button and the floating action menu now we want this action menu and for this width we want to make it as a wrap content and of course for this one as a wrap content okay and now let's give an id so the id which i am going to give here that's the floating action menu okay so it's a floating of course a floating action menu right so this is the id and uh, then i am going to uh, align it at the top so what you can say align parent 
top now let's align it at the bottom that's the true okay and then i want to align it at the end okay so layout align parent end that's also the true okay and the another one i would like to give align parent right okay so that's the true of course it doesn't matter there and i would like to give a margin to let's say the 16 dp as a standard margin okay and uh, after that i would like to you know the so shadow okay so what you can say the so shadow uh, the menu so shadow that's i'm gonna make as a true now it will start showing as the shadow and the fab label okay so the fab label i'm going to make it as a nothing i mean it's just an empty label and then the op direction okay in which direction it will open if you see here our uh, emulator its open direction is down okay but now we are uh, setting this um, to you know at here at the bottom end so this open direction must be up otherwise our this floating button would go here okay so let me show you what i am telling you here okay so let's say the open direction if you type here the open direction let's say if you type here the down okay then it will shift here and then it will open your button here okay once you add many buttons there so but we want here to open as up okay and apart from that uh, let's set the background okay so here we want to background color menu background color that's that color i want as a transparent so that transparent is inside the android and uh, of course the android and then color transparent okay and uh, apart from this now i am going to press command and the option okay command and the option then it will automatically adjust everything up and down okay perfect now we have done with our now we are done with our floating action menu now we are going to create our action button so for the button it's really very simple what we need to do here floating action button okay so the first floating action button so the, of course the wrap content and the wrap content okay so we send the height is the wrap content and uh, the label which we are going to give label to this one so that label is let's say the fab label okay so the fab label i'm gonna give here as let's say the photo the first one okay and the fab size okay so the fab size i'm gonna give mini and apart from that i think uh, i have to also give here the menu right so but before that let's let's give the id okay so let's give the id here the id i'm gonna put the id that id is mm, what can i do here um, item one okay so what i can do here floating action item one right perfect so as you see here this is not being aligned here this one why because i have not put it inside this floating action menu just paste it here now you see here it is inside of this one okay press command option and the l everything will be automatically reformatted okay so now let's copy it but before that see here the fab label photo but the source we are missing the source so for that we need to come here into the draw paper and new and then vector asset so here we want to first import a photo okay icon so let's create a photo icon so inside the photo that's the camera actually right i mean the camera so we want here the camera okay it's photo camera you can see here the photo okay perfect and uh, then as you see here 
we have a record and the edit so let's let's import both, both others to uh, assets so the first one i uh, edit here let's take this one i'm gonna put it as uh, let's say the edit and apart from this one we want one more vector asset and uh, after edit we want here microphone right mic this one let's say get you can see it's a record great fine so let's set here the resource is source sorry the source src in the first one we want to set I, th I think the first one is the photo so let's set here uh, the photo means it's a photo okay perfect and similarly i want to copy it and i want to paste it the two time okay so the first time this one is going to change the item 2 and this one is item 3 and this level is going to be let's say the record and this level is going to be edit okay so as usual so this is a string resource press option and enter extract a string resource and type here as a photo and this one okay option and enter extract a string re resource and then record as usual this one edit okay the option extract a string resource and then edit okay now we are done with our uh, the photo now this one is photo but here you see this is the record so we want here set the record and here we want to set the edit okay so this is the edit now these three parameters has been changed edit is here a floating action let's take make it as edit so that would you know that would make the difference here and this one as a let's say the record and oops and set this one as a photo perfect so i think uh, we are done with our uh, you know the layout now let's run this application and see what would happen okay See inside the emulator, a new application will be open. So let's wait for. Okay, it's installing. You see here new application. Now this one is uh, below. If I click here, see here the photo record and edit is being opened. But still, you see we need to do uh, you know a lot of uh, customization here before it look like um, before it look like like the uh, like the previous one. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what we need to do here, I need to also change this color into the white color and also I need to change this background color and this text color. So I would change this background color into white and text color into the black and also I would add here set on click listener to each of these floating action button. So thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. Stay tuned for the next one in which I will be covering these things in very detail. Okay, bye bye. Have a nice day. Subscribe to this channel.